Life is about wanting what you have, and that's it. If you want what you have, then uh, you're all right. It's like a garage sale. You sort of collected all this stuff. You may have organized it into piles. You may have recorded things, demoed it. And it's time to make sense of it before it loses its potency. You make a sort of official versions of these things you've collected in, um, into songs. Improvisations, really experiments in beats and sort of just rhythms, things that make me move around and a chance to sort of uninhibitedly make some sort of perversely sad danceable and funny and despondent songs. I think the thing about gigs is to be able to have a choice. However limited it is, an hour to go berserk, to get your ears blasted, to jump about, to kiss girls, fall over, get thrown out. The album goes to a natural high and then a natural low at the end. But recording it is always, recording these things is always uh, exciting because you don't really know what's going to happen. I think recording is my favourite thing. Wit still. I can't get away. Being English, I suppose, I can't take it too seriously. And whether it's what I could consider musical wit, wit, something that you do, a joke, a trick with sound or with words, it's always there. I think it's a, a thing that, especially I think English people who make pop music can't really avoid.
I like the idea of the microphone sucking up whatever is in the air and putting it onto tape or into a computer, making an order of chaos. So I think that's really what the album was making, order out of chaos. But really it's an excuse to try and get people to, you know, this dance music in the most sort of geeky, misfit way possible. It's not cool, it's not sexy, it's just noise and rhythm and a pointless question, what's wrong with me? I quite like that. <laughs> do it the more maybe I want my secrets the less I want to tell so the vaguer I want it to be I think when I was younger I wanted to explain everything in detail but then you realize that people who do that are really boring the listener. The same with visual stuff. Heavy referencing can be off-putting and limiting. I sort of would just like to get vaguer and vaguer until it's kind of um, as vague as it can get. So it's sort of thin and invisible and doesn't sound like hardly anything and then, and then it can be and then you can stop and then that's it.